Hey everyone, so it's Hoth and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are going to be setting up my Beltane altar for 2020. channel for a while you will know that I have done an entire Sabbath series as well as about a year and a half's worth of Sabbath altars. If you do want to check out the other videos that I've done surrounding the Wheel of the Year and the eight Sabbaths and their altars I will put a card just up here if you guys want to go check that out and it will also be on the end screen as well if you do want to kind of binge watch the rest of my Sabbath altar videos. But today we are very specifically doing Beltane. Now Beltane Beltane is probably one of my favourite Sabbaths. I absolutely love the fire festivals. The four fire festivals are probably my favourite Sabbaths across the year, but equally I do like it when the veil is thin, such as Samhain and Beltane, so I absolutely love Beltane. This altar, I have already set it up myself, you guys haven't seen it yet, but I've already done it, is probably one of my favourite altars I've done so far. I don't know what it is, it's the colours, it's the look of it, I love it so much. So I'm going to stop talking and I'll pass you over to myself from yesterday so I can show you me setting up the altar. Thank you. 
So this is the bottom section of the altar. Here I have a lot of the kind of big pieces. So the first thing is, as always, the amethyst or the heart that is on all of these altars. I know I get repetitive, but yeah, this is on every single one of my Saba altars. In front of that I have a small tiger eye heart that was in my confidence working that I did a couple months ago. I then have my athame over here. My antler wand is over this side. I then have my Himalayan salt lamp that I have on every single altar on top of a wooden disc. I'm predictable, I know. So then in the centre I have this gold plaque. Now this one is of a god and goddess with the sun and the moon, but I just thought the colours fitted so well on this altar that it had to go back on. This was on my um, Ostara altar and I just kind of had to add it onto this one. Then I have a plethora of crystals. Um, on the bottom section, they are all connected to Beltane. So I have Tiger Eye, I've got Malachite, I've got Citrine, I've got Hematite, I've got some Red Jasper, I have some Green Moss Argate, I've got some Fuchite, and I've got some um, Zoetite on here as well. Um, so that is the bottom section of the altar with this ivy going all round as well, which I absolutely love, especially on the red, for whatever reason, it just stands out so much more on this beautiful red cloth. So this is the top half of the altar. Now, some of this stuff is transient. So in the setup, you saw me put an art print behind here. That is a deer head art print. Um, that is there so that when these roses die and they leave the altar, there will be something high in the background. So the plan is when the roses are gone, the goddess is gonna move further backwards so that she's just in front of the deer head. That is the plan anyway. So at the top, the first thing are the roses. These were a gift from my parents because I hate being stuck in quarantine and we need to be stuck in quarantine, but they got me these to cheer me up. They're absolutely beautiful. They're kind of on their last couple of days now, so I know that this altar's not gonna have them on for very long, but I'm hoping that they will just brighten up the room while they are still here. I do have the art print at the back. Um, I will link where I got the art print from down in the description box because it is from Red Bubble, I think. It's a... Uh, an artist that does that, so I'll link them down there as well. Then I have my goddess statue. You've seen a couple of these now. This is my gold and green statue, which I thought was very fitting for Beltane. So I chose her, and in her stomach she has a tiger iron sphere. So that is all about that grounding, that earth connection. So she's got that in her stomach there. So I've zoomed in a little bit for you guys, so you can kind of see the crystals going around the front. So I have two figure crystals at the front, just here. I have a Venus of Willendorf this side, just about that kind of abundance, prosperity, fertility. And then I have a phallic quartz on the other side as well, just to represent that kind of duality. I like that especially at, um, at Beltane. Then at the top, I have a lot of crystals that I personally connect to the Fae. So this is not kind of uniform in any way. No two people are gonna have the same opinions on this really, but Beltane is the time when the veil is thinnest to work with fairies. So at the top, I have these crystals at the front just to kind of acknowledge that this is the period of time where we're getting the, the fairy transition a little bit more. So I have lots of opalite. Now, some people really hate opalite because it's man-made. My opinion on that is that it's made of silica, silica comes from the earth. Even the man-made stuff that we create still comes from the earth. So I personally am fine working with opalite. So I have some opalite tumble stones. That was actually my first ever opalite tumble stone. I remember buying that. That's a really old crystal now. <laughs> and then I have some opalite arrowheads down the sides. I love working with arrowheads. And um, I have some obsidian arrowheads that are gonna be on the website soon, hopefully, but these are beautiful. I don't think you can really see how pretty it is because the light is so harsh here, but they're absolutely beautiful. And then I also have some fuchsite pieces up here. These are uh, a little bit more pastel, a little more unusual than the pieces I've got down there. So yeah, that is the top half of the altar altogether. So when it's all finished, the altar looks like this. 
Um, it's very sunny at the moment. I decided to film this during the day today rather than the night, so it's a, it's a little glaring. You can't really see the Himalayan salt lamp. So I'll try to get some more footage from later on tonight so you can really see what it looks like when the sun goes down. But I absolutely love Beltane altars. Of all of the Sabbaths, the Beltane altars are probably my favourite. If I can, I'll throw up an image of last year's Beltane altar so you can kind of see the comparison. But yeah, I'm, I really, really like this altar. I think it, it's transient as well because I know the flowers are going to die in a couple days and then you'll have the, the image behind them that's visible. So I think it's really interesting. Um, I'm happy with it, honestly. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Now I just have to tidy up all of the mess I just made trying to make it. And then when I do, when the lights do go down tonight, I will be lighting some rose incense because rose is a really good incense to work with at Beltane. So that will be lit tonight. So I will pass you off to end me to finish up the video, but I did forget one thing that I didn't mention, and that is the ribbon. So there's a ribbon kind of wrapped around the goddess, and that is a um, hand fasting style ribbon. If you've never seen one before, I, I'll try and throw up some images if I can. Um, mainly because the connection between the maypole and the ribbons and hand fastings are really commonly done at this time of year as well. I wanted to kind of add that in as well, just for a little extra something something um so yeah that is the altar for beltane um i I'm, I'm in love with it i think i prefer it i much prefer it to the ostar altar pastels aren't really my thing but this is much more my cup of tea So that is the altar all set up and finished just in time for Beltane. So I'm super excited about this altar. It's even higher than the last altar that I did and is way, way higher than the altars that I was doing last year. And I don't know what it is. The height makes it really nice because you can now see it in the room. And even when the roses are gone, I think it's still gonna look really, really pretty with that print in the background. If you do wanna know where the print is from, I will link it down in the description box. I always like supporting small creators and it's a little company that they sell on Redbubble. So always happy to support them so yeah I absolutely love the altar I like the combination of like fey aspects and beltane aspects plus I always love it when I can put an athame and a wand on an altar like to me that makes it just way better I also love my athame and my wand and I don't really get to put them on altars that often so when I do get a chance I always want to take it so that is my beltane altar for 2020 I hope that you like it Admittedly, I like it, and that's really all that matters. I'm curious, have you set up an altar for Beltane? If you have, what is on your Beltane altar? I would love to know. If you do want to show me pictures of your Beltane altar, we do have a Discord channel that you can join. The link is down in the description box. There's a growing community on Discord, and there's a whole section where you can share your altars, whether they are ancestor altars or ritual altars or Sabbath altars, whatever it is. Feel free to share your photos of your Beltane altars on there. The link is down in the description box for anyone that wants to come and chit chat with the rest of us down there. It's a lot of fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it useful. Maybe it offered you a bit of inspiration for your own Beltane altar. If you did enjoy it, feel free to give it a like. It really, really means so much to me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, or just want to chit chat with the community down in the comment section, feel free to post a comment. And if you do enjoy the magical content on this channel or in this video, feel free to hit subscribe. I try my best to post magical content every Wednesday and every Saturday at 6 p.m. And oh boy, do I need to start learning to talk slower. Talk slower. It's fine. Just to slow it down. Okay, I am gonna go. I hope you guys have a marvellous magical day. I hope you have an amazing Beltane for when it comes around, and I will see you in the next video.